today will still yearn to know why we are here and where we came from. Humanity's deepest desire for knowledge is justification enough for our continuing quest. And our goal is nothing less than a complete description of the universe we live in. The usual approach of science of constructing a mathematical model cannot answer the questions of why there should be a universe for the model to describe. Why does the universe go to all the bother of existing? I'm the archetype of a disabled genius, or should I say a physically challenged genius, to be politically correct. At least I'm obviously physically challenged. Whether I'm a genius is more open to doubt. Let us fight for every woman and every man to have the opportunity to live healthy secure lives full of opportunity and love. We are all time traveler journeying together into the future but let us work together to make that future a place we want to visit. My advice to other disabled people would be, concentrate on things your disability doesn't prevent you doing well and don't regret the things it interferes with. Don't be disabled in spirit as well as physically. 1. Remember to look up at the stars and not down at your feet. 2. Never give up work. Work gives you meaning and purpose and life is empty without it. 3. If you are lucky enough to find love, remember it is there and don't throw it away. With genetic engineering, we will be able to increase the complexity of our DNA, and improve the human race. But it will be a slow process, because one will have to wait about 18 years to see the effect of changes to the genetic code. Time travel used to be thought of as just science fiction, but Einstein's general theory of relativity allows for the possibility that we could warp space-time so much that you could go off in a rocket and return before you set out. If we do discover a complete theory, it should be in time understandable and broad principle by everyone. Then we shall all, philosophers, scientists, and just ordinary people be able to take part in the discussion of why we in the universe exist. In less than a hundred years, we have found a new way to think of ourselves. From sitting at the center of the universe, we now find ourselves orbiting an average-sized sun, which is just one of millions of stars in our own Milky Way galaxy. It was Einstein's dream to discover the grand design of the universe, a single theory that explains everything. However, Physicists in Einstein's day hadn't made enough progress in understanding the forces of nature for that to be a realistic goal. In my school, the brightest boys did math and physics, the less bright did physics and chemistry and the least bright did biology. I wanted to do math and physics. But my father made me do chemistry because he thought there would be no jobs for mathematicians. It's time to commit to finding the answer, to search for a life beyond Earth. 
Mankind has a deep need to explore, to learn, to know. We also happen to be sociable creatures. It is important for us to know if we are alone in the dark. There is a real danger that computers will develop intelligence and take over. We urgently need to develop direct connections to the brain so that computers can add to human intelligence rather than be in opposition. It is no good getting furious if you get stuck. What I do is keep thinking about the problem but work on something else. Sometimes it is years before I see the way forward. In the case of information loss and black holes, it was 29 years. Throughout history, people have studied pure science from a desire to understand the universe rather than practical applications for commercial gain. But their discoveries later turned out to have great practical benefits. Although almost every theoretical physicist agrees with my prediction that a black hole should glow like a hot body, it would be very difficult to verify experimentally because the temperature of a macroscopic black hole is so low. I think it would be a disaster the extraterrestrials would probably be far in advance of us the history of advanced traces meeting more primitive people on this planet is not very happy and they were the same species I think we should keep our heads low. I regard the brain as a computer which will stop working when its components fail. There is no heaven or afterlife for broken down computers, that is a fairy story for people afraid of the dark.